16 Minutes of Care is a podcast based on the care principles, a strategic framework that reveals how brands create impact by caring and, as a result, grow their business. In each episode, Isabel welcomes a company executive who explains how care has helped their business grow successfully and sustainably. Welcome, 16 Minutes of Care, the new podcast by The Care Principles. Today I have Brechtje van den Berg here. She is a senior design engineer at Secret. And Secret is a Dutch company that makes wallets. Welcome back, Brechtje. Thank you. In the first episode, I mentioned the wallet and you said, oh, I would like to show it because a lot of people, they know the product, they don't know the company name, but they know the product. Could you maybe show it to the camera, how it looks yes, like? Yes, of course. Um, well, this is the wallet and when I do like this, a lot of people will recognize it properly. Um, and that's where it all started with. The, on the inside, every wallet has a card protector. Um, that's the part that was on the market first. And along the way, we made a uh, sleeve around it and we have a lot of leather versions. But this one is uh, just on the market, which is an um, ultrasonic uh, of a high frequency welded um, TPU. Uh, so that's also a challenge for um, yeah, reducing our amount of leather in, um, in uh, our collection um, for sustainability reasons. Uh, and uh, I worked on this product myself uh, a lot to uh, make this elastic band with the uh, uh, clip around it and you can uh, change it also. So ah, that's, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. you can uh, turn it uh, inside out. Yeah, you can take it off uh, you so it when off. you want to change color or... Uh, ah, you can simply buy another yeah. color. Yeah, oh, okay. or Interesting. maybe the elastic band uh, yeah, is it not, wears, out. wears out a little bit or and you want to change it, uh, then you can separate it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. We'll talk a bit more about the um, uh, design process and about um, why it protects uh, cards. Um, we'll do that in the third episode, because actually the second episode, I really want to talk about care for the planet. Yeah. Um, you are, as an engineer and as a designer, you are confronted with sustainability um, and um, you really try to make it uh, in the core of everything you do within the company. You're a very sustainable company. And everything that you design, you really try to see how can we reduce the impact on the planet? Um, how can we really make a positive impact um, on others? So it's really something you're very strong with. Um, one of the things that really struck me when I was researching the company is how you uh, collaborate, for instance, with suppliers. Could you explain a bit more about that? Yeah, as I already mentioned in the first episode, is that uh, yeah, from the starting point of Secret, um, the founders didn't have money also to get to the Far East uh, to travel, uh, so they had to look local. And um, from their agency time, they also had experience working with uh, suppliers in the Far East. And they said, we really don't want to, to do that anymore. Uh, the working circumstances are sometimes so bad, or you cannot control it. Uh, it's way more difficult to um, control your quality. Uh, you cannot go to the factory easily to see what's going on. Um, so there are a lot of um, advantages to have it close by. And uh, yeah, like all designers um, go through the suppliers and you can build together for a long time, um, long term relationship. So it's not like we go into one uh, company and say, OK, how What's the, your price? How can, you, how can you make it? Okay, for this price, now we go to another. Or we develop with one partner and then go to the other for the production. No, we want to build a good relationship so that you uh, grow together. Mm. Uh, interesting. Um, you told me that 85% of the materials that you use are locally uh, produced by other suppliers. Um, and when you say locally, it's really the Netherlands or Belgium or really close by, correct? Yeah, I think uh, the 85% uh, is... Uh, in the Netherlands? In the Netherlands, yeah. It's, it's like the, the, what we, our supply chain in euros. So it is the amount of money we spend in, in Holland. Um, and um, the 15% is in Europe. So it's, it's some Europe. things um, come from Belgium, from Italy, uh, like this uh, elastic band is coming from Belgium. Uh, some letters uh, cannot be found in, this, in the, the quality we're looking for. Uh, it's come from Italy, some parts come from Germany, but we try to source it as close as possible in good quality. Uh, exactly. You also brought back 
certain crafts, like for instance, leather craft in the Netherlands. It was an industry that was about to die. Yeah. Uh, can you explain a bit more about that? Uh, yeah, if a, a lot of industry has gone to the Far East in that time, uh, um, around uh, 2010. And um, there, because uh, Seekers really wanted to do it close by, um, and there's a lot of uh, handwork in making leather wallets, for example, or bags and so on, um, which is you cannot pay in Holland when you set put really people behind a sewing machine and it's too expensive. So we developed another way of uh, stitching the leather. We developed our own tools to do it uh, uh, co computer controlled. Uh, in, we have our own uh, molds for that. And we made a really smart way to do our production in Holland. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. impressive. Yes. So it's, it's, it's computer-based, um, but don't you also work with um, uh, social enterprises? Yeah, for on the other, yeah. and because we um, uh, make some things very easy, um, we always, uh, as a designer, think about how will it be possible to assemble it or to make it in a factory if um, a part has to be uh, done by the social enterprises. Most of the assembly is done by social enterprises. And uh, people are really good in doing simple things over and over again. They get really happy about that. Um, but then it has to be safe. It has to be simple. And you cannot put it in the wrong way. Or yeah, you cannot work with glue, for example. Uh, there are a lot of rules you have to take into account. Um, and we also design the tools then for them to assemble it. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that it has some impact on uh, on your design process as well. Yeah. So we can really say that Secret is a company that really um, creates a positive impact on people, yeah. and starting internally, but going with suppliers, going with social enterprises. So that's really yeah. It's really a decision also to to keep that. So, well, they're good in doing the same thing over and over again, but they're not very flexible. And the people working there, they're just like doing every day the same, but when you ask like, oh, we have like a big order and you have to go, come on, come on, come on, they, guess, uh, they stress out. So we, next to that, we have some commercial parties, uh, partners, um, so that they can uh, fill up that, the fluctuations in, uh, in production. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we really choose to keep it, we already ha could have choose like, we are just working with, uh, show, uh, with uh, more commercial partners, but uh, we stick to it. Yeah, yeah, because we might want to make the difference and people are so proud there to work for Secret. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nice. That's nice. Let's talk about um, the other part of taking care of the planet, really in sustainability and reducing CO2 emissions. Um, what are you doing on that level? Um, well, we're B Corp certified right now, um, but well, it's more like a mirror for something we already did a lot. Um, and it's like making it measurable. And um, our goal is to reduce um, our CO2 impact with 75% in 2030. So that's a challenge. Um, and um, for right now, a wallet has like a 2.2 kilogram impact, which is as much as one kilogram of bananas. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have to reduce that with uh, 75% by uh, 2030. What are the biggest hurdles to become more sustainable? Um, well, for us, the biggest impact can be made by uh, reducing our, uh, the impact of the aluminium and, and the leather. Uh, and uh, we hope to switch soon to a recycled aluminium. And that will reduce 0 0.6 um, kilogram of CO2. So that's already one step. And at the same time, we're also looking for different materials we can uh, apply instead of leather. Uh, like this one is uh, already making less impact than a leather um, a wallet. Um, and the next step we're working on to make it in a mono material so that it can be fully recyclable. Um, we're looking into getting a, a car protector in the wallets, um, or at least a car protector fully uh, circular, but that's for the next uh, few next years. Step again. Yeah. 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 Was it important for the company to become B Corp certified? Um, well, I think it's not, uh, it's a way to tell it to, uh, to the world what, what we are doing already. Um, and it's not like we do it for, for the B Corp. And, and you can look at all the points for the B Corp to get certified and say, okay, when we do this, um, then we get more points. But if there's another option, which is, in our opinion, better for the world or 
humanity or whatever, then we'll we'll make that choice. So so you're a bit stubborn and you you, the, yeah, you well, follow your own path yeah. and yeah. that's more important yeah. than than yeah. receiving um, by others a certification. Yeah. Uh, okay, I understand. Um, if um, during the lockdowns, uh, for instance, um, there was also a beautiful example that you took care of one of your suppliers. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a stitching company, correct? Yeah, well, normally they produce for, uh, for us, uh, the, the, they stitch the leather um, with the technique we developed so that the leather can be stitched in Holland. <laughs> um, and at that time, we didn't have to place any orders because there was a lot of stock uh, retailers didn't uh, order, so there are people who were sitting at home and the, yeah, they didn't have shops any work. were closed. Yeah, and at the same time I saw on the national television uh, at the news that uh, the hospital in Delft, which I live next to, uh, that they were making a face mask and I saw a lot of people stitching by hand. It was just a flat design and I was like, we couldn't do this with our technique and then it could so go so much faster uh, so I did some. <laughs> uh, I had some trouble to get the right person at the hospital, but through a friend uh, living in the street, and he knew the next person, and then we came together, and together with the supplier and um, uh, a mater um, another uh, material supplier who was also pretty close by, we could combine everything, and I run the project to get together with another colleague of Secret. He uh, was very good at designing the molds, the stitching mold. And in one month, we had uh, the opportunity to have like 10 machines running. and um, To make mouse masks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And are you still making that? Or is no, they did it for about a year. Yeah. About a so, year. Uh, from 2019 to 2020. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or 2020, 2021. 20, yeah. 2020 to 21. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not out of COVID yet, so you might have to restart that yeah. production. Yeah, I yeah. don't hope there's shortage, but... Uh, yeah. It yeah. could be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great. Um, the people you work with in social enterprises, is it mainly people that have physical issues or mental issues or is it both? Or uh, It can be both. It yeah. can be both. Yeah. Does, the, do you pr so you as a designer are always thinking, I have to make the number of applications, I have to reduce it, I have to make it more simple. Yeah. So in order that they can help you assembly, they can help you produce yeah. things. Yeah. How important is that aspect for you as a designer? Um, you, you just don't think about how is the product looking, but also how is it made. And the nice thing is that you can go to the supplier and to see the people and test it and see how they handle it. And I really like as a designer that I make, can make a difference also in, the, in that world of people who are, have more distance to, um, to the um, labor market um, and that they're really proud to work on it. To work yeah. for secrets, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, just to be back to um, B Corp certified, I had another uh, talk uh, during this, uh, these recording sessions with a company that just became B Corp. Mm -hmm. When did you uh, receive the certification? Ooh, uh, I think about half a year ago. Oh, so also yeah. very recent, yeah. also very yeah. recent. Do you have any idea how many B Corp certified companies there are in Holland? Oh, no. I no, no know. idea. No. She was, she it's was growing, from, that's she, for sure. It's but, growing very yeah. fast. Yeah, she yeah. was from uh, in Belgium and I think she said something about 40 something. So in Belgium, mm. it's still very small. I think in the Netherlands, there definitely has to be more because it's a bit more uh, popular yet. But yeah. it's still still quite um, quite recent as well. Yeah. Um, every three years, apparently, there's a, a new round of certification that you yeah. have to, to work on. Um, but I also understood that you become part of these companies that are B Corp certified. How important is that for you to be part of a, of a community of companies that really take better mm -hmm. care of the planet? Well, I think you can inspire each other, like the choices you make or how you think organize. Um, yeah, I, I think this connection is uh, very nice. Uh, my, me, myself, I'm not so into it uh, so that I'm uh, connected. But no. um, well, a colleague of mine who is uh, involved in it a lot, uh, he said, um, because of the talk of uh, Alping, 
of the last uh, episodes of uh, your interviews, he said, and now I'm really going to con contact them. <laughs> okay, really? <laughs> yeah, oh. so it has uh, some effect in the end. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, yeah. that's nice. Uh, yeah. I, will, I will tell her, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, hoping is a very good example and uh, yeah. it was a lovely, lovely talk. Um, um, and nice that it, it, it made uh, the decision yeah. uh, easier for a secret to, to become B Corp uh, certified as well. Um, uh, now... Um, I've lost my question, but I look at my timing and I see that we are almost at the end of this episode. So thank you so much for talking to me about the Care for Planet and the uh, B Corp uh, certification. Brechtje, don't go away yet because I want you here for the third episode. And in the third episode, we will talk more about collaboration, agility and reliability. We'll go a bit deeper into uh, the care strategic framework. But for now, thank you. For those people who are watching this or listening, thank you so much for um, uh, attending this podcast. Uh, stay tuned because there's a third episode with Brechtje coming up and we'll dive deeper into the care strategic framework. Thank you so much and take care. Want to create lasting impact with your brand while feeding sustainable growth? Check out thecareprinciples.com and see how we can help you. 16 Minutes of Care is an independent production from Isabel Verstraten, brand strategist, founder of the Care Principles and author of the book, Does Your Brand Care? Help us reach more companies who are looking for caring and sustainable growth by giving this podcast all the stars it deserves and by sharing it in your network. Thank you and take care.